Chinese media, party-owned media, follows closely what the government is doing and uh, follows the party line. And the party line at the moment uh, is that uh, Australia, after being badly mannered and offensive towards the uh, People's Republic, um, is now behaving. And what they've seized on is not any substantive change in Australian policy, but the change in rhetoric that the Albanese government brought to the relationship. So where the Morrison government was a bit bellicose, a bit overexcited, uh, a bit over the top, the Albanese government has cooled it off and the uh, Xi Jinping's government has seized on that as a pretext for saying, well, that Australians have come to their senses, so now we can have uh, constructive relations. And the media, the, the party-owned media in China, uh, is reflecting that, talking positively about the relationship and the future. And that sends a signal right through the Chinese system, <clears throat> not just the government uh, at the top level, but the bureaucracy and companies through the system. It's now officially approved to have relations with China again. With, sorry, with Australia again. Well, it's been uh, taken a long time to get here. When asked how he might like this trip to be remembered 50 years from now, Mr Albanese said people will see this as a culmination of months of hard work. How has the Albanese government been able to get relations back on track after they hit a real low point during COVID? Well, first, first thing, it's done nothing provocative. And second, it's toned down the rhetoric. And really, um, that's about all it took because the Xi Jinping's regime uh, was realising it was running out, of, um, running out of options. It was looking embarrassing for the regime to have Australia standing up and defying it successfully. Well, Australia has been able to work on relations with China while also <coughs> strengthening ties with Pacific nations strategically. How important is this? Uh, for Australia's uh, future, very important. Uh, the Pacific, long neglected by Australia, Pacific Island states are part of our strategic hinterland. Uh, and the, this government, the previous government, the Morrison government, announced a Pacific step up. It was never really able to make much headway because primarily because of its position on climate change. Um, but this government, because of the climate change position, a more active policy on cutting emissions, and, and also just taking it more seriously, paying more respect, turning up more often, uh, has been important for Australia and important for the Pacific Island states. Albanese is heading uh, tomorrow, I think, to the Cook Islands for the annual summit of the Pacific Islands Forum, which is the big annual event for the region. Australia and New Zealand are members of the Pacific Island Forum. China is not. And I think we're going to see a major initiative uh, there agreed between Australia and the Pacific Islands uh, nations, yet to see the detail, but I think there's something fairly large coming. This is very welcome. And it, of course, from the Chinese point of view, it's not so welcome because they see this as a contested zone that China would like to dominate. Just lastly, Peter, Australia-China twice are normalising. We keep hearing that. What does that actually mean? Are we going to go back to how things were before the freeze or can we expect a new kind of relationship between the two nations to form? It's certainly not going back to what it was. There's no such thing as uh, normalising in the sense of return to the status quo ante. Uh, that phase is over where Australia was prepared to accept uh, China as a purely benign uh, force. And, and it's just not going to happen again. Uh, the Chinese regime has shown its true face with the, the sanctions and other measures against Australia. Australia has resisted, stood up and strengthened its own position. The government talks about stabilisation. That's much more realistic. Peter Harcher, always great to get your views. Thanks so much. Pleasure, everyone.